right, here we are with some Tekken 8 going through the purple ranks. Um, I will say next video will probably be me hitting blue rank. Um, I don't know how painful blue rank is going to be to get out of, but either way, um, with me hitting this new purple rank, essentially, um, as of today, puts me in the top 8,000 players, meaning we have officially entered the top what? The, the game was just, um, it just sold 2 million copies, right? It just got confirmed to sell 2 million copies. So if I'm 8,000, I am below the top 0.5%, right? I'm like 0.4 or something, I don't know. Either way, we're in the top 1%, and that's where I would like to stay. Uh, to be fair, it is really hard to stay in the top 1% in a fighting game because essentially, here's the thing, let's say I hit blue rank on Victor, right? That is way into the top 1%. You're, you're in the top 1% if you hit blue rank. In like a month or two, I don't know if it'll be the top 1%, right? But like, let's say I hit God of Destruction with Victor. You know what? I'm not going to say that because honestly, I don't know how the Tekken 7 ranks work. But, but let, let's say for Street Fighter 6, you know, I was way, I, I was probably in the top 0.5% in that game as well. But what happened was, was that as more players hit master rank, I fell out of that percentage because here's the way it is. This is the way I play fighting games. When I fully hit the max rank on a character, I don't, I tend to switch to another character, you know? So unfortunately in Tekken and in Street Fighter, for me, that would make me fall down on the leaderboards, unfortunately, because um, I don't focus on one character. Uh, normally, I play a character until I hit the max rank, and then I switch off that character. For example, in Street Fighter 6, I hit master rank with JP, I immediately went to Marissa, then I went to Ken, and then I went to Guile, you know? Um, and I hit Master Rank on almost all those characters. I didn't hit Master Rank on Ken because I just didn't play enough. But I am Diamond 5 on Ken. So that's right before Master Rank. Um, but yeah. So it's probably going to be the same with Tekken. I'm not going to lie. If I were to hit like God of Destruction or something. Which I don't think I could even hit that in a, in, in a short time frame. But if I did, you're not going to see me um, really continue to play victor or, or grind victor rank of course i'm gonna play him but i'm not gonna grind victor rank and try to make progress um because th that is the one unfortunate part about fighting game leaderboards is that it doesn't really tell you where you are in the world because yes right now i'm in the top one percent right i'm i'm way in there but in two months you know, I could be in the top 5%. I don't I don't know. Um, this is just, just like a, a guess. I could be in the top like 3% or something. I don't know. But really, I'm still a top 1% player. It's just that I haven't been grinding one character over and over again to uh, put me higher on a leaderboard. That's the one problem with uh, judging your skill level by leaderboard is that it doesn't take into account the fact that you play multiple characters and some of these people might only play one character. Um, for example, like I said, I'm the top 0.5% uh, right now in Tekken 8. But that's not even considering the fact that I also hit purple rank on Dragonov, you know? Um, so, I, I hit orange rank on Reyna and Jin. I'm about to be red rank with them. Uh, I, and I hit purple rank with Dragonov, and I'm about to hit blue rank with Victor, you know? And that, that that does not get taken into consideration when you are playing on the leaderboard. It just takes your highest character. So, it's not really a good judge of skill, I would say, because 
there could be someone that's below you, but guess what? He hit purple rank on 10 characters already, you know? Um, and so obviously he's probably going to be better than you. Uh, but, yeah. It, it, it's a good little estimate for skill, but it's definitely not the, oh, I'm higher than you on the leaderboard, so I'm better than you. That doesn't really work like that. Uh, but, I would say I could confidently say I am a top 1% Tekken player now. I can I can definitely say that. Um, mainly because, I mean, as you're seeing right here, I'm not really struggling that much. All my matches are close. Even if I lose the match, they're close matches. Like this one right here. Close match, you know. I don't really get destroyed. Um, which I definitely used to get destroyed in Tekken 7. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of the progress I made. This is uh, absolutely the best I have ever been at Tekken, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I always really struggle with Tekken 7. And, you know, now I'm just realizing that I think the reason why I was always so bad at Tekken 7 was because no one played it. You know, it, obviously this game has a much bigger player base than Tekken 7 because it's new. Um... I was essentially doing the Tekken 7 rank grind, you know, five or six years after the game came out. So, yeah, uh, I really realized that having a fresh player base will make the grind more fun, and it it makes you feel like you're making more progress. Because the problem with Tekken 7 is um, the point system, I would say, is worse. Um, it, just, it just doesn't feel as good. The netcode is worse. And the loading time is absolutely horrific. Combine that, and it really feels like you're making no progress. You know, a match in Tekken 7 can take one minute to load. Like, it can take a very, very long time. So, it just feels like you're not going anywhere. You could play for like an hour and not even make half the progress that you do in this game because this game has almost no loading, you know. There's a massive player base, so there's always someone at least around your skill level that you're going to fight. Um, don't, you can fight better players as well, um, but yeah, it, it, it makes Tekken much more enjoyable. I thought, I always thought that I was just absolutely horrible at Tekken and I'll never be able to play it. Um, just judging off of my experience in Tekken 7, but really the only reason I felt like that is because it was, you know, a six-year-old, five-year-old game at the time, so not, it, it wasn't as lively as this game is right now, because this game is new. So, yeah, turns out I'm not absolutely horrible at Tekken. It was just the Tekken 7 being late in its life cycle type of thing. So that's good, because if you don't know, the highest rank I hit in Tekken 7 was orange rank, and I grind that thing for, like, I don't know, two or three weeks or something like that. So, yeah. But, I mean, that game absolutely gave me a head start on this game. I understood everything immediately about this game. Um, as soon as I was, as soon as I started playing it, I knew everything. I knew combo structure. Um, I knew some moves because I was playing Jin at the time, so that transferred over. So yeah, I mean, obviously that gave me a little bit of a head start on understanding the game. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have like, I don't know, like 80 hours in Tekken 8. I know it's not a lot, but I have like 80, 70 hours in Tekken 8, something like that, and I have like 150 in Tekken 7. So what I can say is those Tekken 7 hours really um, taught me the fundamentals of Tekken 8, pretty much. Because uh, going into this, um, I, 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 I understood the game perfectly fine. Just starting up the game. I, I didn't feel lost or anything. So, and I have to contribute that to Tekken 7. So yeah, it may look like I'm making progress quick, but to be fair, I did have a little warm-up by playing Tekken 7 for a few years on and off um, so that's cool overall I am happy with my progress in general I never expected to get purple rank let alone blue rank I, and here's what I can say I'm definitely getting blue rank as you can see I am not struggling at all here so and that that just feels good and one of the reasons why it's taken me so long to hit blue rank um, is because I decided to just let more people play the game first, so that way I can have more people to fight that are closer to my skill level. Because when I when I first hit purple rank, I hit purple rank like four days after the game came out, or something, five days. And at that point, it was mainly the best players in the world who were in blue rank. 
Um, there were not many people in blue rank. It was literally just the top players that were in blue rank. So obviously, I didn't want to grind out of purple rank because the only people in blue rank were like pro, super high level Tekken players at the time. Um, so I just waited. I went to Dragunov, hit purple rank on Dragunov, waited a little bit. Um, and then a lot of people got purple rank in this game. And now I can essentially make my move and work my way up because I'm not going to be going up against pro players the whole time because that's literally what blue rank was when I first hit purple rank. It was just the best of the best. Um, literally, I was top 6,000 in the world when I hit purple rank and I was literally the lowest rank you could be in purple rank. So that shows you how little people were in purple rank, let alone blue rank. Um, so that's kind of why it took me a while. I wanted to let um, more people fill it up so I can have um, more fair competition because to be honest, I, I would have gotten obliterated by the pros. Um, but yeah, overall, having a good rank journey, um, having a good time as well. Another reason it's taken me so long is because I, I say I'm having a good time, but I've gone against a lot of one and dunners. And when I go up against a one and dunner, I'm not going to lie, I kind of just quit playing the game for the day. Definitely ruins my mood. Um, I played yesterday, and I got one and dunned three times in a row. So I actually would have hit blue rank yesterday, but like I said, I got one and done three times in a row. That was enough Tekken for the day for me. Um, I hate getting a one and done. So instead of getting salty and one and done people back, I just get off the game now. So yeah. Other than that, the game is super fun. That's the thing. I'm still enjoying the game. I'm not bored of the game. I'm not dreading playing the game. I still enjoy it. So, yeah. Um, next video you're going to see is probably me hitting blue rank. Probably. And then uh, after that, we'll see if I make that a blue rank. To be fair, I didn't think I was going to even hit blue rank in the first place, but it's absolutely obtainable. It's, it's not going to be that bad. So, maybe I'll make it out of blue rank. Who knows, though? I mean... Blue rank is like the final rank. After blue rank, you're in the very high levels. So I'm very... I, I don't know about that one, but we'll see. We'll see. So, you know, like, subscribe if you want to see that. And yeah, expect the blue rank video very soon. Peace.